Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for I Heart Skull Crusher. This is uh, number one. This is a new book from Boombox, which is uh, an imprint of Boom Studios. Uh, let's take a look at the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Josie Campbell, illustrated by Alessio Sono, colors by Angel de Santiago, letters by Jim Campbell. Uh, very excited for this. Uh, I I knew very little of this. I saw a preview on probably on TikTok or something. Uh, and I knew that I had to move this up in my reading queue as we did reviews for the week. Uh, so let me give you a quick synopsis. We'll talk more about this fantastic number one debut. Uh, in this book, 18-year-old Trini would do anything to compete in her favorite sport, screaming paintball, uh, aspiring to the heights of her longtime favorite hero, Skull Crusher, but she can't do it alone. alone. Uh, her and a gaggle of misfits is just what she needs to cross the American wasteland and battle the in Queen Mob's deadly tournament. With Trini's dreams of being just like Skull Crusher on the line, does she and her friends have what it takes to win a coveted spot on Skull Crusher's undefeated team? Um, I'm gonna just tell you right now, this is this has very much of a manga influence it, to me. It really feels like that. Uh, I don't know much, like, I don't know much about the influences from the creative team, but I can just tell, like, there's all the tropes there. Um, we we have this new sport that is created in this post-apocalyptic world. Uh, we have some really cool designs, character designs, and also just, like, overall, the art is very dynamic, very much in your face, uh, big, bright lights, big expressions. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of fun and a lot of heart. Boombox is, I believe, geared towards younger readers than the regular Boom Studios uh, comics. Uh, so this makes perfect sense. And even then, even so, like I still had a lot of fun reading this. Uh, so let me pull up some of the preview art here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, if you look at all these uh, facial expressions, the zooming in on the eyes, the the rapid cuts between panels, uh, I just love little Trini's uh, face as she sees Skull Crusher for the first time. Even the dialogue, she says, you know, she fell in love with the game, with the crowd, and with Skull Crusher. Uh, so cool, right? I think the game, even that's happening in the background, it's like almost secondary to everything that's going on. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very cool. Then we catch up with Trini as she's a little bit older. She's definitely a troubled youth. Uh, uh, she's kind of all alone and down in the dumps. And it looks like most of the people are also kind of suffering through this. So I think Campbell manages to do a lot of this world building very efficiently where we'll have, you know, and, and of course with the art team, uh, bringing in some of these panels, some of these, some of these uh, explanations, there's a little bit of dialogue that Trini has with two skulls that are her parents who have passed away. Uh, which is very, very wild concept. Uh, and yeah, things from there. Uh, we hope they get better and get, get easier for Trini, but uh, we'll just have to stay tuned and see uh, how things play out. Uh, but I'm very excited. I kind of, I'm very, I want to see the game. I want to see what the game actually looks like. Uh, I want to see more of the people that we meet. Uh, there's a, a reluctant coach, which is a very much of an anime. If you've ever seen any sports manga or anime, like, you know, that's a tr big trope. Uh, so like I said, I think this book has a lot of that influence. Uh, so I think you're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to enjoy it for sure. Uh, great character designs, fun dialogue. Like this was a home run, uh, from the get go. I don't know if they have home runs in this sport. Uh, but to me, this book itself was a home run. So if you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell. So you know, when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.